Hi, I'm Doug, your tech support representative here at Atlantic British. And in this video, we're going to touch base on the oil filter change kit we have available for the 03 to 05 full-size Range Rover, also referred to as the L322. Now, the oil change is probably one of the most repetitive maintenance you're going to do on your vehicle. On this particular design, it's recommended every 7,500 miles. So you're going to do it on a fairly regular basis. And it's a pain in the neck to try to order a new kit every time you're going to do an oil change. So what we do is we put the kit together so you have the proper, the proper items to do two oil changes. Reason being is nice to have one up on the shelf when you're ready because sometimes they will sneak up on you and all of a sudden you go, ooh, I'm due for one. And you don't want to have to wait and order one through the, for, you know, for the time frame it takes to get it shipped to you. You already have it there, get it done, maintain your vehicle. So what you're essentially going to get is two cartridge type oil filters, which is what this vehicle uses, new O-rings for the cap, and definitely whenever you do an oil change, then you always replace these O-rings. They have a tendency that if you reuse the old one, they will leak. New drain plugs for the uh, pan and new drain plug seals. Now again, this is all you really need other than the oil uh, for two full oil changes. And what I'm going to do is, uh, give me a minute, we're going to go over to this vehicle and I'm going to show you basically uh, some of the tips that you need to, you'll need to know to change your filter. Alright, so now that we've introduced the kit, I'm going to give you a little rundown on how to change the oil on your L322. Now on these particular models, the 03, the 05, they use a cartridge style filter and that's mounted inside this housing which is right under the engine compartment right next to the power steering reservoir. You see it has a plastic cap. Now this is mounted on a brace with two rubber mounts which over a period of time have a tendency to break apart. And many times I'll see these come into a shop with wire tied to the mount. Those two little rubber mounts are available and they're an oil filter mount listed right on our website. You can replace them and it's a good idea to check it before you even bother doing the oil change or order your parts. See if you need those two little bumpers as well. Get them with your oil change kit. You'll make yourself a lot easier in the long run. So what I usually recommend on these is before you even drain the oil out of it is to remove the cap so that what you have sitting in this housing and in the lines will drain out when you pull the pull the plug underneath. Now, the top of the cap, this is a 36 millimeter hex type. You can do it with a pair of pliers, you can do it with a socket. I, prepare, I prefer a socket because over a period of time pliers are going to chew up the outside edges and this is going to look bad. You use the socket, put that on there, and then you can either use a strap wrench or a large pair of pliers like I have here. I like to hold the housing Break the cap loose. Now you don't have to remove the filter at this point. All you really need to do is just get the cap up to release the basically the vacuum hold it'll have on the oil sitting in the lines. I'll finish unscrewing it. And you can let it sit like so, so that when you pull the plug underneath, all this is going to drain out. Now right here is the o-ring that you're going to be replacing that comes with the kit. This o-ring is wrapped around this cup. Don't forget to change that o-ring. It's very important. Many times when you reuse the old one, they will leak. And then the filter itself sits in this position where you can see this plastic cap actually pops onto a boss that is inside the plastic cap so when you lift once you do lift this up and pop it apart you're going to install the new filter in the exact same orientation so well basically we've set that up and now we're going to put the vehicle up in the air and show you where your drain plug is all right so we've got the vehicle up in the air we're down underneath you'll see that your drain plug it sits in the forward right hand corner of the oil pan there's no uh, plate or anything covering it, so you have easy access. It's a 17 millimeter, and all you're going to do is back that off. Make sure you got your pan in place. You drain uh, somewhere close to about eight and a half quarts out of these. These hold a total, a refill of nine quarts when they're dry. So you're going to be putting in about eight to nine quarts of oil when you go to top this back off. So, like I said, let it drain down. Walk away, have a cup of coffee, whatever. Give it a few minutes. Put your plug back in, make sure before you do, wipe down the area with a rag. You're going to get a new copper gasket and a new plug to reinstall back in the pan. Make sure you use those. You don't need any leaks down here after pouring nine quarts of uh, expensive oil into that engine. Uh, once you're done, 
you don't have a shield or anything to replace on these, lower the vehicle, and then we're just going to change the oil filter over and you'll be set. All right, so we've drained the oil, we've got our plug back in, and you can add your oil with even with the filter in the up position because you're going to be filling in through your fill hole right here, just behind the air filter. So you can actually put your, you'll generally need to put about eight and a half quarts in to top it off, sometimes even nine. As I said, this just comes right out. And then after you've drained it, you'll notice this should all be empty. You can take your finger and run around the bottom of the oil filter after you've replaced your O-ring and then just run a little bit of film of oil on the new O-ring before you reinstall it. And you'll see the open hole, the large open hole goes towards the bottom, slides over that stem. You're going to screw your cap back in. Okay, so that's seated. And again, you can use a leather belt, a strap wrench, a large pair of pliers. But you want just something just to hold that housing in place so you don't tear those mounts apart. And like I said, should they already be dried out and falling apart and they're relatively easy to change they screw right into this mounting bracket and you got two nuts up top take those out and you can change the mounts and we're just going to tighten this up it doesn't have to be super tight actually just snug and that's it so what i generally do is put about eight quarts in Start the vehicle up, let the oil get circulated, get through the filter, let it run two or three minutes, shut it down, leave it alone for five minutes, and then pull your dipstick and check. And ideally, you should be in between these two notches. That's your actually your ideal height. This is your maximum level, this is your minimum level, so you want to be right about here. If you see that uh, you need to add a half a quart or a full quart, because at this point, with the eight quarts, you're going to be a little bit low, but then you have a gauge as how much more you need to get it topped off properly. So make sure you check your specifications as to the type oil that you use on these. These are very specific where they want the full synthetic oils. Again, use a good grade oil, use a good quality oil, and these engines will last you quite a while. So this is a regular maintenance you want to do on your vehicle. It's an easy one to do. It's very important to do. It makes a, a huge difference as far as how long your engine lasts. And also with fresh oil in it, you may also notice that your fuel economy is a little bit better as well. So when you're ready to do the oil change on your, your uh, 03 to 05 L322, give a call to any of our knowledgeable salesmen, 1-800-533-2210. And thanks for watching.